Welcome to the Westcott Crochet Channel and welcome to the Ruffles Crop Top. If you like this one, please send that message to YouTube by tapping the thumbs up button. For future projects, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. You can also follow me on Instagram where I try and post a peek at upcoming tutorials. I opted to play around with construction a little on this one, so I wanted to keep the stitches nice and simple. Any yarn recommending a 4mm hook will create a similar result. I used the recommended 4mm. I also used a tape measure and a yarn needle to weave in my ends. Working with my 4mm hook, I'm going to make a chain for the front panel. Now, the style of this top is such that the shoulder straps follow right down the front of the top um, to form a trim in the front, same situation on the back. Um, so I just need to make a panel that works up between the two shoulder straps. So for me, I'm going to chain just 30. It's not going to go right across the body, it's literally between the two shoulder straps. I'm going to chain 30, which measures about 20 centimetres unstretched. There's my 30 chains. I'm going to chain an extra one to turn and then I'm going to turn the chain. I'm going to work into the back bumps. So I'm missing the first back bump because that's the turn chain. So from the second, I'm going to make a single crochet. So insert my hook, I pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the two loops on my hook. So next stitch, single crochet, and I'm going to work that way the whole way across till row one. Here at the end of row one, I'm going to chain one to turn and working back from the first stitch here, not the chain to turn. I'm going to go again, single crochets, one stitch in each. And that's basically the whole deal from here. Single crochet rows back and forth. I'm going to work 50 rows and then I'll come back. Here's my 50 rows, measures roughly 27 centimetres, top to bottom. Now I'm going to be attaching, as I say, the side straps down this side, along, as along with the side panels. So I just want to make nice stitches to work with along the sides. Along, I've just got the ends of the rows. So if I just turn here, and I can show you that at the end, of each pair of rows, each pair of rows forms a line with the single crochet. So this is every two rows. And every two rows, I get what looks like a regular stitch at the end here. So there's one, there's the next one, next one, and next one. And into each of those, I'm going to put two single crochets. So I've already chained one at the end. I'm just following on from where I was. So into the first one. Just go through both loops and single crochet into the same spot. Single crochet again. Next one. Yarn splitting. And single crochet. And in the same spot, a second one. So I'm going to do that all the way down and that means I've got one single crochet for every row end. I've worked all the way along adding my two stitches at the end of the rows there and I'm just going to slip stitch into this very top corner to close that off. Pull that tight, chain one, pull that tight and I can cut my yarn. Just cut that, pull that through, and now I need to reattach on this corner and do the same thing again. So I make a slip knot, insert my hook into the bottom corner, add on the slip knot. Pull it through and just moving these tailings out of the way. Chain one to secure. 
and then I'm just going to do my two stitches again into here into here into here all the way down and at the end slip stitch into the last stitch and cut my yarn so here I have one panel front panel edged on both sides now that I have that I need to make another one for the back in exactly the same way so I'm going to chain 30 and work back loops for the first row single crochet and then single crochet rows back and forth for 50 rows and then edge down both sides so I have my two panels identical front and back and I need to work out what I need to work up for the side panels to make up the full circumference of my body so now that I've edged these panels they each measure a little over 21 centimeters and when I stretch it to a comfortable level not extremes but to a comfortable level I get I get just over 25 centimeters so that gives me 50 for the front and the back combined to go all the way around the widest part of my body I need 96 so 96 minus 50 I have a shortfall of 46 for the two sides that's 23 each side I know I'm going to add on an extra centimeter with the edging same as I've done for these panels so only 22 as you'll see in a minute the seams that I'm going to work down the sides are actually quite thick and they're going to add another couple of centimeters on either side so I need to take that off my measurement as well for the side panels so from 22 I'm now down to 20 finally I'm going to leave three centimeters for stretch so I'm going to chain out for 17 centimeters then I'm going to work my panel in the same way as I've worked the front and the back just rows of single crochet for 50 rows edging down both sides this is my completed side panel I chained 26 for my 17 centimeters and just work my rows 50 rows edge down both sides and then made another one so I've got two of these so I've now got four panels I need to work on the trim so back to my front panel so for this trim come strap it needs to go all the way up the front 50 stitches I have up and over the shoulder meeting the back where it comes down another 50 stitches so I've got a hundred stitches to start with for the front and the back so I just need to measure up and over my shoulder and work out how many stitches I need for there I need to end this next piece on a multiple of 10 stitches for me I'm going to add on 60 stitches to go up and over the shoulder so 160 in total for me got 160 chains and do an extra one to turn and into the back bump second back bump along first one is the turn chain single crochet and for this first row I'm single crocheting again all the way down just one stitch in each and back so a whole lot of single crochets so far I'm going to change things up a bit well I'm actually going to start with a single crochet but then I'm going to change things up from there so chain one to turn and then into that first stitch I'm going to single crochet and then into the second stitch I'm going to work a half double so yarn over insert into the stitch yarn over pull up a loop three loops on the hook yarn over pull through all three loops then I'm going to double crochet yarn over insert into the stitch yarn over pull through a loop three loops on the hook yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two then I'm going to treble crochet so yarn over twice in through the stitch yarn over pull through a loop four loops yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so I've got a single a half double a double and a treble I'm going to make three more trebles So I've got four in total. 
So single, half double, double, one, two, three, four trebles. I'm then going to come down the other side and make a double. So pulling through two loops twice. Then I'm going to make a half double. So yarn over and pulling through all three loops in the one go. Then I'm going to make a single. So I've got this little hump. I'm going to keep doing that all the way along the chain, the, the chain, the row now. So starting with a single, then a half double, then a double, four trebles, Back to a double. Half double. Single. And I'm going to work that way the whole way down. So I've got 160 stitches. I should end up with 16 little humps. But the full length and I've got my 16 little humps. I'm going to work three more exactly the same way. So chain 160, single crochet row and then work my humps. So I've got four in total. For the contrast section at the trim and strap I've gone for this blush pink to contrast nicely with the fuchsia pink. I've started in exactly the same way with a chain of 160 for me and I've worked a row of single crochet. Now as well as contrasting in colour it's also going to offset slightly with the bumps against the fuchsia section. So I'm going to start with a treble crochet. Now for me I'm going to start with a standing treble and I'll show you how that goes in a minute. Um, if you can't get to grips with this, then just chain four, and that's your first treble out of this first stitch. So for me, as I say, standing treble. So I'm going to pull up my yarn, my loop, the height of a treble, wrap it round my hook twice, keeping hold of my loop with this finger. I'm going to go in through the stitch. I'm going to pull back through a loop. So I've got four loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the second two, yarn over, pull through the third two. And that's the standing treble. So from here I'm going to do another treble into the next stitch along. So again, if you've chained four, your next stitch is a treble. And then I bring it back down the other side with a double. A half double. And a single. And from here it's business as usual on this full row. So again I'm single, half double, double, four trebles, and then back down the other side, double, half double, single. And I'll work that way the whole way along. When I get to the end I'll be finishing on two trebles, same as I started. Here's my completed strap come trim in the blush pink. I made a second one in exactly the same way. I have the four fuchsia pieces and I have a front panel, back panel and two side panels. I just need to work on assembly now. So the assembly is going to work like this. I have a front panel here and a side panel. I will sandwich in with the single crochet row towards the edge. So one of my trims in the fuchsia. I will 
Sylvain sandwich in the trim in the blush with a second fuchsia and that goes on top so it's quite thick it's going to be five pieces thick I'm just going to grab my hook and start with the process I've just turned my stack side on so that it's easier to work and I've got the side panel on the top the three little trim sections and then I've got my front panel at the back I'm just going to insert my hook into the bottom corner on the front panel add on a slip knot pull that through and chain one to secure it in place so just pull that tight and then just unhook my loop I'm going to go in through the bottom stitch on my side panel making sure that my trim pieces are the right way up so the single crochet row is at the bottom I'm going in through that single crochet row, that bottom stitch, on the first piece. Again, making sure I'm on the single crochet row is nearest to me. Bottom stitch on the second piece. Bottom stitch, third piece. And in through the stitch that I was just in two, I've just joined two, on the back panel. And here, just going to slot my hook back on there my loop back on sorry and pull that through okay so that's all secured it's going nowhere so in through stitch number two in every instance so stitch number two on piece number two piece number three number four and final number five yarn over pull through all of them and the stitch for a slip stitch again in through every piece stitch at a time yarn over pull through everything and slip stitch. I'm going to work that way the whole way up, just one stitch at a time. It's a little bit fiddly, just straighten everything up until I get to the top here and then I'll come back. I've worked the full length of the panel, it's all seamed up. Fold it open and you can see these bits are now secured in place and free to fan out. From here, I'm just going to keep doing the same thing, except I don't have the front and side panels to work in. So just the three, what is now the strap section. And for my strap section, I worked an extra 60 stitches. So I just need to go through the three 60 times. And at that point, I should have 50 left to complete down the other side. So exactly the same as I have been doing just without the extra panels in between, uh, sorry, on the outer, outer edges. So stitch for stitch, continuing for 60 for me. So however many stitches you added to go up and over the shoulder to meet the back panel. I'll be back when I've worked my 60. Okay, I've worked up and over the strap section and now I need to reintroduce the side and the back panel. So I've just gone in through the top stitch on the side panel and I'm going to put my loop and just pull that through. So that's where I'm going to start from now. So into the next stitch on the side panel, into the next stitch, onto each of my strap section. Here's the back panel, so into the top stitch of there, and same as usual, just pull through everything and slip stitch. 
I'll work all the way down till I get to the end. I've just worked the last slip stitch on my seam all the way down the side. I just need to secure my yarn now. So what I'm going to do is remove the hook. I'm going to get these ends out of the way for start. Just go in through anywhere from this side to where the loop is currently located. I'm going to pull that loop through to the other side. Like so. And then I can just chain one at this side and cut. And I'm not then spanning the seam to get my, uh, my chain one. So I've cut my arm, whip that through, and then do the whole thing again to seam up the other side. That's all four seams worked. And here we are, right side out. I just need to go away and weave in some ends, and I'm done. If you do all of that, you'll have yourself one of these. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. A huge thank you to those who already have, and to everyone, thank you for watching today.